Today we are doing an English lesson about five ways to give an invitation. So, when we give an invitation to someone, we are asking someone if they want to go somewhere or do something or have something. And in this lesson, you will learn five different ways to give an invitation. So the first way is the expression, would you like? So would you like is an excellent way to give an invitation. Example, would you like to dance? I notice that um, the expression, would you like, if it follows, um, if it is followed by an action, then the verb is in the infinitive, to dance. Would you like to dance? Would you like to have lunch today? So, would you like, followed by the infinitive, to have. And we can also um, have a noun phrase after would you like. Would you like a drink? And finally, would you like to come shopping with me next week? So, would you like, so we're giving an invitation to somebody, and the action is to come shopping. So, in the infinitive, to come. Okay, so this is the first method. We also have, do you want? And this is another way to give an invitation. And it is slightly more informal than would you like. So this is more informal. Example, do you want another cup of coffee? So here we have, do you want? And here we have a noun phrase. So we are offering another cup of coffee. It's an invitation to have another cup of coffee. Do you want to come to the party on Saturday? So here we have the infinitive. The invitation is an action. Do you want followed by a verb in the infinitive? Do you want to come? to the party on Saturday. Do you want to go for a drink? Okay, you often hear this on a Friday evening after work. Do you want to go for a drink? Why don't you is a very good way to give an invitation to someone. Example. Why don't you come to London with us next week? Why don't you come to the concert with us tonight? Jane says, Why don't you join us for a drink after work? And Sarah replies, Thanks, I'd love to. So Jane is inviting Sarah for a drink after work. This is a very good um, verb for, um, for invitations. Join us. It means, why don't you come with us? Okay, so it's a very common um, verb that we use when we are making or giving an invitation. Why don't you join us? It means, why don't you come with us? Okay, why don't you accompany us?